Because what I did, I went ahead and got this comb, which is about maybe 10 inches and so forth. So then I'm using this as my measuring guy uh, to do the cut because I did forget my scissors. I mean my elastic band, excuse me. My elastic band. So okay, we're going to go ahead and do our first cut. And it's going to be like a, I mean you may not can see this and so forth. But it's going to be like the 45 degree angle. So, here we go. Beverly is getting a new cut. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Bam! I did it. Oh my God. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, um, and what's going to happen, like I said, because of the... Um, because her hair is so wavy, we're going to have to go back over this. And that's what the razor is for uh, and everything. So it's not going to take long, but only a few minutes just to get the back cut. And um, what I'm going to do next is um, uh, when I get through with the cut, I'm just going to uh, trim it up, blend it out, and all that stuff so it'll actually look good. <laughs> Yeah, so they actually look good. So, and you guys will be able to see this on my Facebook SD shop and all that. You'll be able to see it. Yeah. I hope I don't screw up. Pray for me, guys. Because cutting curly hair, wavy hair, is definitely uh, not the easy thing to do. Okay, it's, it's, it's not. It's not an easy thing to do. And you're definitely going to need to blend this to make it look good and everything. So, so I'm going to do the, I'm going forward um, to the um, one side and then do the other side. Yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, so, and kind of keep 
keep your fingers there to help you uh, to be your guide and so forth, as well as your cutting. Yes, that's looking great so far. But like I said, the, the uh, fun part is going to be um, when you go over it with the razor and get it cut. So, anyway, I'm hoping I'm not screwing up. <laughs> I won't actually know until I'm actually finishing the cut. <laughs> so then I know. Oh, boy. So here we go. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing so far. Okay, put those hands in that 45 degree angle um, and everything. And... And do your cut. There we go. So I'm moving on. I'm almost getting these side done. So um, over here, <laughs> uh, this was really a um, really heart wrencher here because this hair was so pretty and so forth, and I have already posted the picture of this hair on my um, Facebook and everything and got likes on it and so forth but I'm thinking okay they liked it long so hopefully everybody will like it short and you notice I'm cutting in the um, 45 90 degree angle because when I blend it the top is going to be a little bit longer and I'm going to blend that in with the bottom to make it um to show this um short and so forth because I don't want that blunt look in the back or on the squeak period. So okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you some of the um um razor technique that I'm gonna use to blend this and then I'm going to blend it uh, off camera, finish it off camera because for one thing, uh, I usually don't have enough time or space on my camera to actually finish anything or anything long. And then, too, I don't want to have a long video where it's actually boring you. So, that's the one thing, too. And a lot of people, um, instead of cutting short hair, I mean, a long a curly hair, what they do is um, they kind of like straighten the hair down first to blow dry so it'll be a little bit straighter and everything before they have to cut it. But I didn't want to do that with this because I wanted to maintain these curls. Uh, I wanted to maintain this. So now I'm going to hold this up.